Praise the Lord. Good morning. Let's listen to today's devotional by Pastor Benedict James. Welcome to Victorious Daily Devotion in the most joyful and powerful name of Jesus Christ. Today's topic, what is the greatest gift in a family? Undoubtedly, a godly mother. She leads the children not only in a godly path, but guides them to get highest blessings and respect in the society. I repeat, she leads them not only in a godly path, but guides them to get highest blessings and respect in the society. Therefore, a godly mother is the greatest gift and greatest blessing ever to any home. A woman who fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Blessed verse from Proverbs 31, 30. A mother who is close to God will bring her children also close to God as well. Author unknown. Abraham Lincoln once said like this, No man is poor who has a godly mother. Brother Billy I beg your pardon, Brother Billy Graham quoted like this. Only God himself fully appreciates the influence of a Christian mother in the molding of character in her children. Only God himself fully appreciates the influence of a Christian mother in the molding of character in her children. What a blessed quote. Well, let us recall or rather reminiscent the story of the blessed and inspirational mother, Susan Wesley, who produced two spiritual giants for God's kingdom and to the society. Susan Wesley is indeed, as we all know, a wise woman who not only made them spiritual giants, but educated them to become great reformers. Wise mother indeed, who gave them right balance. Susan Wesley's husband was a worthless husband and a worthless father. But she did not creep nor fought with him. She never kept complaining. But she won all her struggles and hardship and poverty on knees on one side. And on the other side, she worked hard to support the children. Her family was in poverty. But she worked hard for her livelihood and spent precious time simultaneously in prayers. Her kneeling prayers, as I said, produced two most powerful saints and giants in the world, demolishing the kingdom of Satan. John Wesley, a reformer and founder of Methodism, and another son, Charles Wesley, a great preacher and hymn writer who wrote over 6,500 inspirational hymns. Such a powerful life, he was modeled by her mother. Her few, uh, Charles Wesley's few songs, Blessed Assurance, Pass Me Not, O Gentle Savior, Safe in the Arms of Jesus. We praise God for our life and for the children's ministry. As I said, mother is a very important person in a family because mother is the first person child ever knows. Proverbs 31 says, Woman is not about being perfect, not at all, but it's about living with purpose, diligence, forgiveness, and repentance. Woman is not about being perfect, but it's about living with purpose, diligence, forgiveness, and repentance. Who can find a godly and capable wife? Proverbs 31 10 says, But her worth is far more than rubies. She opens her mouth with wisdom and her tongue to build the family. A virtuous or a godly mother loves Jesus with all her heart and spends time with him. She is a faithful bride. She respects her husband. She does him good, irrespective of he being good, bad or worst. She is a loving mother. When children grow up, they call her blessed. 
she nurtures the children with love of Christ, disciplines them with care and wisdom, and lives and trains them in a godly way. A godly mother is clothed with strength and dignity. She speaks with wisdom and faithful instructions on her tongue. She watches keenly the affairs of the house and does not spend time in worthless things but fills the house with noble things covered with prayers and word of God. When children are tough to listen, she will spend time with them in prayers and love and patience, building them up in a godly manner. She builds the family in reverence, love, gentleness, patience, redeeming the time for building the family and their character and true values of Christian life. Proverbs 12.4 An excellent wife is a crown of her husband, but she who causes shame is like rottenness in his bones. Lord, we pray, O Lord, that Thou will raise many godly and blessed mothers like Susan Wesley who can not only build the children spiritually but educate them to be highly used in the society and for your kingdom. In Jesus' marvelous name we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening to today's devotional. God bless you. Have a blessed day. And always remember, Jesus loves you and cares for you.